<laughs> I'm standing now for, and this is my world. I'm not going to say that. Am I going to say it? It's amazing. Oh, my gosh. I'm not going to say that. I felt like real thinking of just saying, oh, yeah, I represent a thing. <laughs> No pool again. It was on the outside. Uh, so I represented Ireland in uh, rugby sevens, uh, fifteens, and touch to captain Ireland against England and Twickenham. Certainly a, a, a career highlight for me, and um, you know those are memories that you you play for, and I'm really you know really grateful for that. So that way there is Wales. We're looking out to the Welshman. Uh, we're in Dublin, Ireland. I'm here with my husband. Mr. Jossi is just taking a selfie. <laughs> we originally came to Galway in 2009 for six months, but we loved it so much that we actually were wanting to stay. But fortunately, Connacht Rugby wanted George back. And here we are, we're uh, seven, um, seven and a half years in Ireland. I grew up in Omaru, and hardly any of us are down there. Um, but yeah, so my mum, amazing woman, raised uh, four of us on her own. Oh, growing up in Omaru, to be honest, was, oh, I loved it. For us growing up, I was the, I'm the youngest of four, and, you know, we didn't have a big house, small house, but a massive backyard. We just sort of played sport in the backyard, and we had everything that we needed. Jeez, my mum was a clever lady, you know, just send us out and play around and come back in and full of people and all that. <laughs> I used to watch uh, my brother play on uh, the Saturdays in Centennial Park in Omaru. Yeah, so I always, you know, wanted to be part of that after having watching how awesome my brother was. <laughs> he was awesome. He was like Carlos Benton. That's what I, I'm, I know I'm, I'm biased, but um, yeah, that's how I got into rugby. Good tracking. I've always been quite, uh, you know, wanted to do well not just for myself, but for my family. And, um, you know, certainly they didn't put that, pr that pressure on me. I put that pressure on myself. Yeah, after, you know, um, being involved in sport for, for ages and then going to uni and working and all that stuff. The doctor, while I was in Otago Uni, diagnosed me with anorexia. And I was like, oh, you know, at that, that time, certainly there's this unheard of having a Polynesian, you know, Samoan person being a, diagnosed with that, but um, yeah, no, it took, took a while to, um, I suppose, uh, accept that I had uh, an eating disorder and, um, you know, uh, a bit of depression at the time, and um, yeah, it was an interesting journey and um, one that I'm incredibly grateful for. Okay, mate, you got a, you got a taxi driver. <laughs> so lucky for Siossi. Galo Bay. Too humble. What happened? No, 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 I'm not. God, you're making me say these things. What was your question? <laughs> Sorry. Oh. What What was it like being voted one of the most influential women in Ireland? She's just humbling. What I loved to do was engage in the community, not just in sports, but but in other areas. And you know, I suppose that's, that's just part of me and who I am and how I'm, you know, I grew up. You know, learning to build relationships with uh, people of all walks of life. Oh, I'm hearing you. You're too humble. Yeah. <laughs> no, oh, that's what am I going to say? Oh, gosh. I know, I know. It's okay. Yeah, it's a good What's happened? Yeah, I just became a bit passionate about wanting to contribute overall in the sports world in Ireland. So I then went back to uni last year and, yeah, and uh, finished my master's. So um, it's been an interesting journey. I just graduated. <laughs> What'd you graduate on? Master of Science. <laughs> There's a paradigm shift that you know I really believe needed to happen, especially as a first-generation born New Zealand, where um, you're typically you know expected to to do this and that, and within reason, absolutely, tradition is important. It's important to keep the, the, the best parts of tradition, um, but at the same time, being conscious of the big wide world and being open-minded to expressing yourself in different ways. Um, certainly in this first couple of steps of my life so far, it's um, hopefully opened the eyes of my nieces and nephew and my stepson and my family back home, and it certainly feels like that in terms of what they're, you know, realising as to why I'm doing what I'm doing.